from Passion at PennyPincher.com. It is day two of our freezer cooking challenge, Supper Set for Summer, where we are making 24 freezer cooking recipes in four days. It's been amazing. Yesterday I got six done. Today we are working on six more. So the goal is that by Thursday we'll have 24 meals done for the summertime. So I'm not going to have to cook in the summertime, which makes me really happy. I'm using all the grocery lists and menu plans from Eaton Home Cooks, which I absolutely love. And I'm going to tell you a few special secrets. I'm going to stick this back over here so we can start the freezer cooking. We're going to see how fast we can make these meals. If you have never done freezer cooking before, I never thought it was like the greatest thing ever. I thought it was kind of silly. And now that I've done it, it's kind of changed our lives. You can put these recipes on the grill. You can put on your stove top. A lot of them I do in the crock pot, but in the summertime I grill a whole lot. Good morning, Monica. Hi, Melinda. I'm so glad you guys are here this morning. Okay, so let me tell you, today, and for a few more days only, you can use the code PPP25 to save 25% on these menu plans, which is the best price we will see. The 30% the off code expired yesterday, but today you can get 25% off, which makes them like a dollar and 30 cents a meal. But here's the thing. First of all, hit the share this button because I have an Amazon gift card. We will give up to three $25 Amazon gift cards away for every 100 shares we get. So hit the share this button. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Mary. Tell me what you're making for dinner. Give me a heart or a like if you are joining us. Give me a heart if you're doing this with me. Give me a like if you're afraid. If you're thinking, this is crazy, this woman is nuts, I don't know what she's thinking, give me a like so I can know that and see what you're thinking too. The other thing I wanna tell you real quickly is that we are doing, remember, if you sign up for the annual plan, this is awesome, if you sign up for the annual plan, you are gonna love it. It is gonna bless you so much. The annual plan, this week only, if you sign up for the annual plan, you will be included in our first ever Passionate Penny Pincher private Eat at Home Facebook group. I looked this morning and here's a couple comments for people who've been in the thing. You have to sign up for the annual plan, use the code PPP25 at checkout. What they said is they love the support and the encouragement of other ladies. That was from Amy Crawford, who's great to always comment. Susan said the group has already helped with questions. We've only had it together for a couple days. Um, Amy said, I love this. It was the best way to get the 411 on what to do. So that way you kind of know, like they taught me to freeze, freeze stuff flat. So that was super easy. And then Tammy said she's already gotten valuable information from the group and is getting encouragement. Yesterday, y'all, in the group, there were so many people who had showed their pictures of their menu plans and their grocery list. So if you struggle with this, I promise, click the link in the video. You're going to love it. Okay, so let's get started. Let's set the timer. It is 9.35, so I'm about seven minutes ahead of yesterday. I'm gonna go fast, so click the link in the video. Lisa, you said you're not cooking today. And I have to tell you, I'm not cooking. I'm, not, I'm making these, but I'm not cooking anything. Do you know why? It is my senior in high school. It is his last day of high school. His last day. He's got graduation ceremonies going on the rest of the week. So I promised him that we are going to go pick up Chick-fil-A and sit on our back porch as a family together tonight and eat Chick-fil-A because that's the best way to celebrate the last day of high school apparently at our house. So that's what we're doing. Okay, let's get our timer set. Let's see how fast we can get these meals together in. Here we go. So the first one is, and y'all, there was just a fly in that. Where did that fly? I'm not kidding. How, that can only happen on Facebook Live because that's the way my life is. Hopefully we won't die. Lord, please don't let us die. It'll all cook out is what I'm gonna tell myself right now. The first recipe we are making is sweet and sour meatballs. Now what I've done is I've already put in both the meats into the bags and opened everything. So that's a big trick is get your meat in the bags and open all your cans to make this go a little bit faster. What I'm gonna do is with this one, I'm gonna, I've got the meatballs in here and now I'm gonna add in a clove of garlic and I'm actually just using the rest of my minced garlic. So I'm gonna add that in because I had just about enough in there. Can y'all see this? And then I'm gonna add in my one cup of coin sliced carrots and an onion dice. So I've already got that, and I'm gonna add that to my bag, okay? Now, what I've done is I've taken, this is a, a crushed can of pineapples. I took out enough liquid to mix, um, I took out all the liquid and put it in here. I added enough water to get to one and a half cups. Now I'm going to stir in the vinegar. Let me make sure I've done this. I'm going to stir in six tablespoons of vinegar. And I'm using red wine vinegar because that's what I had. One, two, four, five. This is the most, this is the most difficult of the meals and it's not that hard. Um, six tablespoons of vinegar, six tablespoons of brown sugar, four tablespoons of soy sauce, which I forgot to pull out of the fridge this morning. 
Oh, it's here somewhere, I hope. This is going to mess me up, isn't it? There it is. Four tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm just going to go real fast here, y'all. Tell me, are y'all joining us? How many of you guys, again, I forgot to look, how many of y'all are joining us for the challenge? I would love to know. Give me a heart if you are doing this with me. And give me a like if you have never done freezer cooking. And then let me answer your questions. Denise, you asked, would turkey meatballs work? Absolutely, Denise, you could definitely do that. Okay, so most of you guys have not done freezer cooking. I'm telling you what, guys, if you haven't done it, it will change your life. It, I thought it was crazy, but I promise, guys, this makes your life so much easier in the summertime. So literally all of my meals will be done for summer. All I gotta do is pull stuff out of the crock pot. It is amazing, yeah, Sandy agrees. Any meatballs will work. So this is, like I said, the most time consuming of all the recipes. I'm gonna add this in here, but I wanna show you a special trick, especially for anyone who's making this at home today, because it's important to catch this part. If you don't read through directions like I tend not to do, you may have missed this. So I'm going to add all of that in. Now what I'm going to do is the rest of the pineapples, we don't want to just dump the pineapples in. We want them in a separate bag because they're only going to cook the last 30 minutes. So I'm going ahead and I'm putting those in a bag. Now you could, there, well, that's the easiest way to do it. So do it that way. So keep your other ones in a bag and then what we'll do is on the day that you take it out, Remember how we do everything is we put all the bags right here together. Don't forget guys, you can use the code PPP25. If you haven't tried menu freezer cooking before and menu planning in general, use that code to save 25% and you will change your life. I promise on these things. Now yesterday folks said fr freeze them flat to save on space. So I'm trying that, but I will tell you it's a little more work, but it definitely is gonna work, I think. Um, I'm gonna put this in and this, and I'm gonna put it all together in my bag. Sue, you said to ask her to consider doing a Whole Foods option. She does, um, Tiffany does have a Whole Foods no sugar, no flour plan included. It is not a freezer cooking plan. Um, I think it would be hard to freezer cook with no sugar and no flour, just my guess. Um, but that's, but she does have, if you buy the plan, you get the whole food, the slow cooker, the traditional, and the, um, let's see, whole food, slow cooker, traditional, and no sugar, no flour. So I'm going to put everything together. This one is really, really hard to do all in one. <laughs> so y'all bear with me. I'm going to wipe down my countertop real fast. Okay. So that one took the longest at six minutes. Don't forget guys, um, click the link in the video if you would like to try these freezer meal plans out. I promise they will make your life so easy this summer. This next recipe is Sunday dinner chicken. And for this one, can y'all see everything? Give me, can y'all see everything? Give me a harder like if this is working for y'all to be able to see it. Um, for this one, we're gonna add in two to three pounds of chicken. I've already got that put in. Two cups potatoes quartered. I actually had a few extra potatoes, so I'm doing a whole bunch of potatoes because my family likes potatoes. It's a lot of potatoes. Um, then you're gonna add in one onion sliced, four to five carrots, corn, coin sliced, two cups of chicken broth, and a can of cream of chicken soup. Now you can make, if you don't like cream of chicken soups, not a lot of these recipes have cream of chicken soups, about one out of every six seems to me to have cream soups, but you could make your homemade cream of chicken soup and we've done that in the past and it's really great. So you could definitely do that as well. So we're gonna go ahead. The nice thing about this one is how many of you guys have an instant pot? Give me a heart or like if you have an instant, give me a heart if you have an instant pot. Give me a like if you do not have an instant pot. If you have an Instant Pot and you've been struggling with what to make in it, what's awesome is she includes Instant Pot directions. So like this recipe and the last recipe, most of these recipes can be made in the Instant Pot or um, Crock Pot. And if you look, she's got the pressure, pressure cooker version. So she tells you exactly how to do that and she adds in extra ingredients that say PC on them and you'll know, okay, I need to grab that if I'm gonna make it in my pressure cooker, which is an Instant Pot. 
so pressure cooker is just the traditional version, just the generic name of Instant Pot for anyone who's not sure. Okay, so that's meal number two done. That one got done in two minutes. That was pretty fast. Okay, there we go. I, oh, forgot to put my directions in. And this is what I do. Look right here. This may help you guys out. I write on the top in big letters for myself, Instant Pot or Crock Pot, so that I know when I go to my freezer, I'll know, okay, that's how I can make that one. Because some of them you're going to grill. This is not one I would obviously put on the grill. You could probably do this on the stove top, um, but I'm just going to do a regular one. Yes, Joy, I was wondering if anyone needed to know that about the pressure cooker. Okay, so here we go to the next one. Is This is the Easy Shredded Beef Taco Beef over Taco Salads. This one's great because you can use it as taco meat. You could use it as anything else. All it is is a two to three pound beef roast. I use, like to use a shoulder roast, a can of enchilada sauce, and a can of green chilies. That's it. This one is done. Y'all. Yes, Jen, I am using my Zaycon chicken, which has been so nice to be able to use that up. Okay, y'all. So how long? That one took like a minute. Um, oh, and she also includes recipes to go with it. So her serving suggestion is cheddar muffins, and she tells you how to make that. So you can keep these all together, and you'll be able to have all the recipes and ingredients you need to make it all super simple. I mean, really, y'all, how much easier does this get? Are you keeping up today, Susan? I'm so glad, Susan. I'm so glad you're here this morning. I'm trying to, let's see. So I'm going to put this one in. It's amazing, Susan. It helps so much. So a couple tips as you go if you want to make it go faster. First, put all your meat in your um, bags first. Then open all your cans and make sure she gives you directions on how to prep. Go ahead and cut your veggies ahead of time. And then you just have to dump them once you get there. Okay, y'all, so we have been on live, and I've talked quite a bit, 10 minutes, and we've got three meals done, okay? Do you see how amazing that is? Like, that's amazing. Do, Amber, you could definitely reuse the, the, the outer bag. I keep the outer bags just so that in case to prevent freezer burn and also to um, in case they spill, because that would be a mess if they spilled. Okay, so our next one we're making is peach barbecue sliders topped with apple coleslaw. This one's another super simple one. We're gonna add in, and I can't even wait to try this one. Y'all look, we're gonna add in some peach salsa. So this is the whole jar of peach salsa. Um, I got mine at Kroger, the brand. There you go, peach salsa right there. The bag holder, which I should be using right now, is from Amazon. There you go, there's the bag holder. It's amazing. I know, three meals done exactly, Susan, while talking and explaining. Then we're gonna use a bottle of barbecue sauce. It's actually uh, 16 ounces, but the bottle is 18, so I'm just dumping it all in there. And honestly, y'all, even though I've done these really fast, know that there was some prep work done ahead of time. I am not this fast. So we definitely, I had a very sweet friend who came over yesterday. I think she's going to come back and help me today if I didn't run her off to help me get all the chopping done because it is a lot. And being the week of my son's graduation, I'm trying to give myself oodles of grace with what I can really accomplish here. Okay, so if you can find a friend to help you chop and maybe even do the meals, it would be so fun. Brittany, you couldn't find the peach salsa, so you got something else peach. I can't see the rest of your comments, but that's a great, I'm sure it's something you can use. Okay, so again, this is one you can do in the Instant Pot or Crock Pot. You see my terrible handwriting. Um, she'll give you the directions on how to make that. And don't forget, if you sign up right now, use the code PPP25 at checkout to save 25%. The best part, the best deal is to sign up for the annual plan. It makes your price as low as a dollar, I think, and 30 cents a week. And here's the thing, for the whole year, you get all the slow cooker food, all the whole food plans, all the traditional menu plans. It will bless your family and make your life so much easier. But the best part is, this week only when you sign up, only while we're doing this, you can be included in our first ever private Facebook group. And I promise y'all, being in that group, we're gonna close the group down on Friday. After that, you can't join. So if you've been debating it, I'm telling y'all, it is worth it. I'll give you more tips on that in just a second. But let's talk about this next recipe. Okay, phew. 
How many do we have? One, two, three, four. We've been on 13 minutes and that's with me talking a bunch. This one is ravioli. My kids love ravioli. Now on this one I went ahead and wrote, this is one you could do in the stove or the crock pot. So this is handy to know um, because you know which one, um, you know which, like if you need a stove top meal and you're in a hurry, this is a great one to pull out if you know you don't want to slow cook something all day. Okay, so we're gonna add in two bags of frozen ravioli. because this is gonna be a lot of ingredients in here. Can y'all see? I feel like, give me a harder like and let me know if you can see. Denise, if you haven't gotten the email, send me an email at contact at passionatepennypincher.com and we'll do what we can to help you. Can you guys see that better? Thank you, Michelle, for sharing. I appreciate you. Oh, and don't forget guys, if you share the video, we will enter you to win a $25 Amazon gift card. So make sure you hit that share this button. I appreciate that so much. Uh, Susan, we will close the group completely for now. Um, we will make it open, like we'll still be in there talking, but um, the group won't be open to new members again until, well, I don't know. It's our first try. Maybe we'll open it again. I'm kind of, we're gonna see how it goes through the summer. We just wanna see, make sure that it's something manageable and that we do well. Um, so yeah, you need to sign up for the group. If you wanna be in the group, you've gotta sign up this week while it's open. Um, okay, so two bags frozen ravioli, 28 ounces canned crushed tomatoes, six ounce can of tomato paste. Oh, I still made a mess. Does anybody else know, is there a great way y'all to get tomato paste out? Because it is not, I do not know of it if there is. But I wanna get all of it, okay. Six ounce can of tomato paste, one small onion diced, two garlic cloves. I'm going to use cheat and use the minced garlic just to make my life easy and happy today. Um, I should have done that the other way. Grab my teaspoons over here. A teaspoon of basil. And I'm going to be really generous because this is a really small teaspoon. A teaspoon of parsley. You could also use Italian seasoning if you have it. A teaspoon of oregano. It calls for a teaspoon of thyme, but I'm out of thyme. A half teaspoon of sugar. I'm skipping that part. I am going to add in a little pepper. I thought I had some salt somewhere. Oh, here we go. We'll just add in a little kosher salt. There we go. Done. A little messy, so I'm going to clean that one up. I promise guys, this will be amazing to take care of your summer so simply. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna pull this all together. Looky there. My kids love ravioli. How many of you guys absolutely love ravioli? Use a can opener and open both pans of the can. Is there a thing as a tube of tomato paste? How did I know that was a thing? Okay, so you're, wait a minute. Somebody says you actually open both ends of the can for your tomato paste. How did I not know that? I am out of time, Sharon. Uh, who just said that? I just laughed at that. Who was that? I can't see who said that, but yes, I'm out of time. Okay, so stove or crock pot. I've got everything I need here. We're gonna pop this one right here. So I've been on for less than 20 minutes. I've talked a ton, I feel like, today. And we still have five meals done. So now we're doing our last one. And this one is actually my favorite one because I've made it before and we love it. Um, a few of these we made last summer and we really like them. A bunch of them are new. Okay, last one, guys. Here we go. Let's scooch all right on down the counter. I have this, I'm very thankful for my big counter that my kitchen has because it makes this pretty easy. So what we're gonna do next is the garlic chicken with more garlic. Now, y'all, this is a lot of garlic. How many of you, give me a heart if you love garlic. If you don't like garlic, give me a like because mean faces make me sad. So give me the heart if you love garlic. 
um, a like if you don't love garlic. This recipe is called garlic chicken with more garlic in the crock pot. I'm gonna put mine in the oven, okay? Or I'm sorry, I'm gonna put mine in the grill. You could also do it in the oven. So I think of this as a marinade for the grill. Um, I put a lot of chicken in here because uh, we'll grill it and then we'll have meat all week long for salads and everything else. Y'all love some garlic, lots of garlic lovers out there. Okay, then you're gonna love this recipe. You're gonna add one onion sliced, three to four pounds chicken, any cut, I'm using boneless skinless chicken breast, a tablespoon of olive oil, just wait for the garlic, y'all are gonna die. Um, two teaspoons of paprika, which I'm gonna be really generous. I've got a little tiny quarter cup teaspoon, so this is way too little, so I'm gonna add a whole bunch of paprika. Um, two teaspoons of kosher salt, which again, I'm gonna, this is really, this is a quarter teaspoon, so I'm adding quite a bit in. And then a teaspoon of pepper, guesstimate on this and then are y'all ready for the garlic y'all love some garlic okay guys here's the deal on the garlic this is ridiculous 20 to 40 garlic cloves I have to tell you my sweet friend Holly came over yesterday and I think she's coming back today to try to help me get all this stuff prepped so that we didn't have to that I wasn't up all night so this is a lot of garlic and she cut it all up for me so she got it into nice little cloves it's amazing I'm kind of excited um, I did want to show you this new thing I got though today. So there we go. We're gonna put that all in, give it a good little mush to get everything around there. Guys, this is gonna be so yummy. I may actually, because I do love the garlic, you can make this in the crock pot. I may make it, bake it on a sheet, broil it in the oven would be probably my favorite way to do it. I'm trying to get this a little more flat. Um, but you can also do it on the grill. The only thing on the grill is I don't want to lose all the garlic. So I guess I could probably, do any of y'all use foil on the, on the grill? Is there a way I can cook on the grill with foil or something to keep it flat? What do y'all think? Don't forget, hit the um, share this button if you would like to win a $25 Amazon gift card. Um, and you can see, I should say, I wrote on here grill, but I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna say grill crock pot oven okay so there we go last meal six meals done in 20 minutes granted a lot of the prep work was done ahead of time so that made it a little bit easier but we also had to get it all in bowls so that takes a little more time than it should take you at home um, because you won't you can just dump right into the bags where I was trying to get everything out and ready for you guys Okay, y'all, there's that one. Let me hear your tips on how to do, if you have any tips on how to leave this flat, um, how to cook flat on a stove, I would love to hear that. And then I'm gonna try one new thing. So yesterday, before, after I made Sweet Holly sit here and mix up or like get all these clothes together, I'm losing the comments. Let me see if I can see the comments. I can't see any of your comments. Are y'all still there? I hope you're still there. All of a sudden the comments are gone. Um, after I had her do that, I had ordered this last week. I have no idea if it's gonna work or not, but we're gonna try it really fast. This is a garlic peeler set. And then I'll tell you guys about the plans. Um, if you're interested, remember, I ordered this on Amazon. I have no idea how it works. Do any of you guys use a garlic peeler? I really can't see any comments, which makes me so sad. Why is it not? Let me swipe. I can see viewers, but I can't see any comments. I hate that. I don't like it when Facebook doesn't let me see the comments. So I couldn't believe as soon as Holly left yesterday, this came in the mail, like literally the second she left. I don't know how this works. I don't know if you can get cloves with this. And I can't ask you guys because I can't see any of your comments, which really stinks. Okay, hang on. And I really do need your help to figure this out. I can't see any comments at all. This is terrible. I'm wondering if this would make, I'm wondering how this works. I'm really curious how it works. So let's just look here and see. I'm assuming I have to do this. Y'all are gonna have to help me by likes and hearts. I'm assuming I have to cut this off and pull out a clove. Is that correct? So all we had to do yesterday was just peel the cloves. We didn't actually have to mince them. So here's this. So what does this thing do for me? I'm assuming, 
Let me get a little bowl. Okay. I cannot see any of your comments at all, which makes me so sad. I have no idea how to do this thing. Like, I really need your comments right now. This makes me... And I bet you guys can see each other's comments. I just can't see them. Okay. Do I have to peel it? Give me a like if I'm supposed to have peeled it. I didn't peel it. I'm just going for it. Oh, look. Look. Okay. Okay, so this is better for just... So it looks to me like this is not going to... It does. I didn't even peel it, though. So this would give me more minced garlic. I guess it would still... We still, for this, because we need them whole, I suppose we'd have to still... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, y'all, with this thing. Tiffany... I saw Tiffany use it, and I thought it looked so cool because she was so smart. Um, and now I can't even figure out what I did. And I can't see any comments, and I know you guys know exactly how to do this and are like, Laurie, we can tell you, but you can't. I can't see it, so I'll have to look after... Okay, there's how we go. Oh, wait. Hang on. I guess I gotta get this thing out. Oh my gosh, it pulled the peel right off. Y'all, look at that. Okay, that's kind of amazing. Tiffany's right, it is amazing. Okay, so I don't know what I'm doing, and y'all aren't here to really chat with me other than just to watch. Okay, look guys. Can y'all see this? I want you to see this. Here we go. Okay, this is exciting. I really need a life, y'all. My kid's going to college and I'm just sad, so I have to sit here and play with the garlic peel all day long. Okay, there's my garlic coming out. And then I guess, and there is the peel. And I'm gonna have, look at that. That's pretty amazing. Oh, and there's more garlic right there. Okay, so there you go. I had never seen that, but I saw it on Amazon, and I, but it's not going to help you with getting your, you're still going to have to get these peeled for this recipe, for the garlic recipe. So real quickly, I will tell you about the group and tell you all the deals. My hair is a hot mess. Um, okay, so let me tell you about the group and how all of this works. If you are new, um, I'll give you, I'll let y'all know, and then I'm really, really bummed that I can't see your comments here. I might be able to see them on the computer, but I don't have the computer handy. So through... For a few more days only, we are doing the challenge through Thursday. So today, tomorrow, and Thursday. So we started yesterday. We made six meals. For anybody who hopped on late, we made six meals in 20 minutes today, which is pretty amazing. Through Thursday, you can join for an annual plan of the Eat at Home menu plans, only when you sign up for the annual plan, and we will sign you up for our private group. I wanna read you a couple of the comments of some of the ladies who have joined the group because they've been super pleased with it. I think it's been a big value for them. It's been valuable for me, so if you're not sure about it, um, basically, I just think the group will bless you so much by having a group of women who are all doing this together, women who are encouraged and inspired to stick to their grocery budgets, who want to eat at home, who don't wanna to spend too much money eating out because y'all, eating out is like the easiest thing to do and it just costs so much money. So a couple of the people in the group said, Amy said um, that the support and the encouragement of other ladies and of the leaders in the group has been so helpful and that you get the information on the easiest way to do it, which is so great. I love that. I love the tips in the group like, do we freeze, freeze our bags flat? Do we freeze them differently? How do we do that? Susan said the group has helped with questions already. She's only been, we've only had the group for like four days. So if you have a question about freezer cooking, about menu planning, that's the way to get it. There's also valuable information, Tammy says, in the group and she appreciates the encouragement. Yesterday in the group, lots of girls posted their pictures of their freezer meals. So if you feel like, if you're like me and sometimes feel like you're the only mama in the world who's crazy and does this stuff, like everybody else is not into freezer cooking and menu planning and grocery shopping and sticking to a budget, if you need the support of other women who are like-minded and want to do this with you, I encourage you to take, to sign up for the meal plan. Make sure you sign up for the annual plan. It's as little as $1.30 a week, which is pretty incredible. It's gonna save you so much money. It's gonna save you so much time and you will be so encouraged. This summer, the best part about the group though that I'm most excited about personally is that when we're in the group this summer, this is gonna be so fun. Let's say one day I pull out the sweet and sour meatballs. 
I'm gonna be in there showing you guys, oh look, I made the sweet and sour meatballs today, and this is what side dishes we had, and this is how yummy it is. And so is Amy, and so is Tammy, and so is Shannon, and so are all of the women in that group will be pulling out different things and saying, oh, I made the Sunday brunch dinner, and I love that one, or I mean, this one, it wasn't my favorite, which is totally okay, because they're not all gonna be our favorites. But for this price, I think this is an amazing, amazing option. Um, I, I just feel like it's gonna be so worth it, and the group, we will still have the group, but it will close down on Thursday to new members, mostly because I told my team, we work our 2Ds off pretty much all year long. Kind of the way Passionate Penny Pincher works is in July, we start back to school stuff, and then we get into that, and then back to school, coupon savings, deals come up in August, September and October, we do menu planning, October comes and we do all of the Christmas stuff. November, December is all Christmas craziness for us. January comes and we talk about budgeting. February comes, we do more menu plans. March and April come and we do cleaning challenges and food challenges. May comes and we do this, freezer meals. June is our rest month. For, so the Passion and Penny Pincher team will still be here, but it's our month to slow down, not do any other major challenges, and that's why we're gonna close the group down to new members, just so that we don't have to sit there and manage all of that as much, and that we can be with our family and kids, um, just like y'all wanna have a little bit of a vacation. Um, all the groups, all the ladies on the team are all other busy moms, just like we are, and so um, we all work and have kids at home in the summertime, so June is kind of our time to just say, we survived, <laughs> take a break because July 5th, the back to school start stuff starts again. So that's why we will, like I said, we won't close the group. So if you're in the group, we will be there chattering. We just don't wanna have to deal with the managing of the who to put in the group and all of that stuff because that takes some time on our end. So I hope that helps. I wish I could see your questions, y'all. Tell me what you're having for dinner tonight. Post your pictures of what you've made. Don't forget, if you hit the share this button, we will enter you to win a $25 Amazon gift card. We'll give one away up for up to three, a um, hundred shares that we have. So I would love to give you one. Click the link in the video, get your freezer meals done. Please leave a comment here. Leave a comment here when you do your, with a picture of your things. Leave a post on the Passionate Penny Pincher Facebook page on the wall with your picture when you have it done. Leave a picture in the, if you're in the private group, I would love to see your pictures seeing your all's pictures yesterday like totally blessed me so much because I was like wow this really is awesome like sometimes when I talk about things I wonder if it really is awesome but personally as a mama this summer to be able to say honey go grill this it's already done and he just has to throw it on the grill that's like it's weight and gold and it's gonna save me so much on eating out so you guys have an amazing day I will be here tomorrow 9 30 a.m. Um, we will be making Here's the list that you'll get when you sign up. Oh, and don't forget, you get your slow cooker meals, whole food meals, traditional meals, and no sugar, no flour plants, plus the freezer meal and you plants. I mean, you really can't beat it. Tomorrow we are making, that's Thursday. Tomorrow we're making beef, barbecue beef sandwiches, King Ranch chicken, Crock-Pot honey mustard pork, chicken bread, bacon ranch sandwiches. I love the chicken bacon ranch sandwiches. I'm actually gonna do them as lettuce wraps. Those are really yummy. And I think I'm gonna make those tomorrow night for dinner. Um, easy Crock-Pot chicken fajitas, chicken curry in a slow cooker. We're gonna make the death by chocolate brownies. Um, I actually decided we're gonna do both the desserts because we like dessert at our house. Um, then Thursday we'll be making teriyaki barbecue chicken legs, slow cooker pork cacciatore, smoky chipotle chicken tacos, pesto tomato chicken in the slow cooker. I can't even wait to try that one. African pulled beef sandwiches, tangy sweet pork chops in the slow cooker. And for dessert, we're gonna try out her peach and blackberry pie. Okay, I'm gonna read your comments as soon as we're done. I'm sorry I couldn't see those while we were on live. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me and just being a part of the Passionate Penny Pincher community. I am so thankful for you and I'm so blessed by you guys every day. Y'all have a great day. Get your freezer meals done. If you don't do any freezer meals, totally okay. Just make sure you get dinner made. Have a great day. Bye-bye.